वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट टू इम्पॉर्टंट मॉडर्निस्ट एवंट गार्ड मूवमेंट्स इन आर्ट एंड लिटरेचर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट क्यूबिजम एंड फ्यूचरिज्म बोथ द मूवमेंट्स दे ब्रॉट इमेंस चेंज इन द एरिना ऑफ आर्ट एंड लिटरेचर क्यूबिजम began in 1907 in paris it was pioneered by the spanish painter pablo picasso and the french artist georges braque it is important to note that the term cubism was coined by gulam apollinaire some of the chief members of cubism were pablo picasso georges braque joan gris robert dilane marcel duchamp and joseph leger cubism as an avant-garde art and literature movement involves analytic cubism and synthetic cubism another important movement in art and literature named futurism took birth in paris france in 1909 and it dissolved in 1930s this movement futurism influenced many vorticist artists and writers I have already produced a video on this topic vorticism you can watch that video after the completion of this video the chief members of futurism were giacomo balla gino severini umberto bosciani and carlo carra This video also contains useful examples of both these movements cubism and futurism if you really like the videos produced by this channel do like and subscribe literature guide cubism and futurism In the first decade of the 20th century, a new avant-garde movement named Cubism took birth in Paris, France. Pablo Picasso, the Spanish artist and painter and Georges Braque, the French sculptor, collagist and painter laid the foundation of Cubism in 1907. It was in vogue between 1907 and 1914. The term Cubism was coined by the famous writer Guillaume Apollinaire in 1911. It was Pablo Picasso's arrival in Paris that heralded the beginning of a new era of the avant-garde movement, Cubism, which influenced many modernist writers and artists of the 20th century. Some of the chief members of Cubism are Pablo Picasso, Georges Braque, Guillaume Apollinaire, Marcel Duchamp, Juan Gris, Jean Metzinger, Robert Delaunay, and Joseph Leger. Pablo Picasso's experiments in painting were the core of the popular trend in art and literature called as modernism. It is important to note that the modernist art put stress on form rather than on content. The age-old conventions in art and literature of the 19th century were not useful and capable of coping up with the speed and progress of the machines and they were ill-suited to comprehend the rapidly changing face of society. The 19th century styles and conventions in art failed to connect, understand and analyze various perspectives of society. So there was a great requirement of something which would bring to mind the perspectives of contemporary life. In the first phase of cubism, objects are inspected, fragmented and again rearranged in a condensed and abstracted form. This phase is referred to as analytic cubism. The fragmentation and rearrangement of objects and figures present a multidimensional view of the figures and objects to a viewer even if they are seen from many angles. 
Thus, the Cubist art presents multidimensional view to a viewer in a greater context rather than a single viewpoint of the object. In the second stage of Cubism, there is a process of accumulation of objects rather than fragmentation. This phase is referred to as synthetic cubism which came into being in 1912. The usage of collage is as one of the features of synthetic cubism. Cubism brought immense change in the arena of art. It discarded fixed perspective and notions about things and illusionist representation. In cubism, there is fine blending of three-dimensional views of things and the two-dimensional picture plane. It also studied the relationship between signs and their reference, signifier and signified. It also examined the possibility of using the signs and their reference interchangeably. Cubism also sought to invent new reference as it was closely associated with poetry. It is important to note that impact of Cubist art can be seen in the works of Gertrude Stein, and Guillaume Apollinaire. Gertrude Stein developed a form of Cubist prose. It is interesting to find the influence of Gertrude Stein's writing on Cubism in turn. Pablo Picasso and his companion, Georges Braque tried to express the fact that our knowledge of things comprises all possible views of a thing. It means that one can inspect things from all dimensions, top, sides, back and front of things. The Cubist artists condensed this process of observation and inspection of things into one moment. It is one synthesized glance at the thing. For example, Pablo Picasso's famous oil painting Les Demoiselles d'Avignon, The Ladies of Avignon appeared in 1907. In this painting Pablo Picasso has depicted a picture of five nude whores in a brothel in Barcelona, Spain. Another famous painting Guernica of Pablo Picasso was produced in 1937. The painting has been deemed as anti-war work of art. Picasso's Guernica vividly presents the destructive nature of chaos, violence, war and anarchy. The painting comprises the figures of a wounded horse, a bull, screaming women, a dead baby, a soldier surrounded by flames. Georges Braque, the French sculptor, painter, and collagist played a vital role in the development of Cubism. He collaborated with Pablo Picasso, and displayed his craftsmanship in presenting an architectural structure in geometric form. His painting give multidimensional view due to Braque's artistic handling of shades in the painting. He had mastery over geometry, graphical and linear projection of objects. George's Braque's most famous work of art, Houses at Las Take presents a marvelous view of village houses and trees with dexterous arrangement of cubes. The painting was produced in 1908. Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque employed complex patterns of faceted forms, monochromatic colors and collages which made their paintings memorable. Joseph Leger, another renowned figure of Cubism, produced a new type of Cubism known as Tubism in which objects and figures are presented in a cylindrical form. It is a simplified method of presentation of modern subject matter. The term Tubism was coined by a French art critic, Louis Vauxelles in 1911. Joseph Ledger's famous paintings are nudes in the forest and soldiers playing cards. Gertrude Stein, a famous American writer, was associated with Cubism. She met Picasso when she was in Paris in 1902. She had great interest in art and paintings of the Cubist artists. During her stay in Paris, many great literary figures such as Ernest Hemingway, Ford Maddox Ford, and Pablo Picasso used to gather at her home which became a rendezvous for artists and writers of the period. Gertrude Stein composed a Cubist prose named Tender Buttons in 1914 which comprises unpunctuated sentences and repetitions. She also wrote a prose portrait of Pablo Picasso in 1938. The influence of Stéphane Mallarmé, the French poet, can be seen on the works of Cubist artist. His innovative use of syntactical and metaphorical ambiguity and typographical experimentation made his works noteworthy. 
The finest example of this is his poem on Kuda de Jamais Nabali as Loisar, a throw of dice will never eliminate chance published in 1897. Arthur Ambo produced prose poems, Les Illuminations and Un Sison en Enfer, a season in hell that contained many features of Cubism. Guillaume Apollinaire was a staunch supporter of contemporary developments in painting and poetry. He produced Meditations Esthétique, Les Pientes Cubists in 1913. Thus, Cubism can be considered as a milestone in the arena of modern art and literature which influenced many movements such as Dadaism, and Surrealism. It was an avant-garde movement in real sense. In the first decade of the 20th century, a new avant-garde movement in art and literature named, Futurism originated in Italy. It was founded in 1909 in Paris, France, by an Italian novelist and poet, named Filippo Tommaso Marinetti. The term Futurism was coined by Marinetti which reacted against decadent bourgeois culture and conventions of the period. Futurism projected vitality, warfare and nationalism through art. Some of the chief members of Futurism are Filippo Marinetti, Gio Comabal, Umberto Boccioni, Carlo Carra, Luigi Russolo, and Gino Severini. Futurism was a reaction against the anguished soul-searching of the symbolists. In addition to this the futurist artists also disliked belief in the absolute and put their faith in the dynamic force and speed of the machines. They abhorred the cult of beauty and mysticism. They derided the mystical posturing of poets such as Bryasov who stated that the poet was the guardian of the mystery. The futurists believed that the primary aim of a work of art is to change our mode of perception to the artistic rather than to the practical and automatic. The Futurist Manifesto vividly reflected love for technology, power, speed and violence. The Futurist artists violated the rules and conventions in academic culture, art, literature and music. They did not adhere to the rules of traditional syntax, meter, grammatical patterns and punctuation marks in language and literature. The futurists were also against realism and they were interested in the nature of the devices which produce the effect of defamiliarization. In Russia, a branch of futurist movement known as Cubo-Futurism began just before the First World War. It advocated the rejection of age-old conventions in art and literature. It was as iconoclastic as the Italian futurism. They were much interested in sound rather than sense. Filippo Marinetti, one of the founder members of Futurism, was a novelist and poet inspired many writers and artists of the period. In his plays, Marinetti paid little attention to traditional methods of characterization and plot structure. He also implemented new method of using automations and staging of unrelated actions on the stage. It is important to note that Marinetti's cult of machinery and warfare was adapted by Mussolini as a part of fascist culture in Italy. Gio Como Bal published the Manifesto of Futurist Painting in 1910. The futurist artists represented nature in a new dynamic form in the paintings. Another branch of futurism called Ego Futurism took birth in Russia in early 20th century. Like other futurists poets and artists, the ego-futurists composed poetry which was mainly subjective in tone. They were anti-traditionalist and made use of neologisms. This branch of futurism did not survive for long period of time. It is important to note that a term ego-futurism was coined by the Russian poet Igor Severyanin. Vladimir Mayakovsky the poet and artist, published the first Russian futurist collection of poems named, A Trap for Judges in 1910 in collaboration with other poets. He also produced the Futurist Manifesto, a slap in the face for public taste in 1912. Its primary aim was to cleanse and purify culture and literary taste of people. Vladimir Mayakovsky also composed a long poem named, a Cloud in Trousers in 1914-15. It dealt with a theme of love and fate. 
Several of his poems such as, The Backbone Flute were published in 1916, Man in 1918, and about that were composed for Lily Brick whom he fell in love with. Mayakovsky produced two plays namely, The Bedbug published in 1929 and The Bath House in 1930. These plays have been written in satirical vein and bitterly attack the suppression of revolutionary values. He also composed a poem at the top of my voice which is tinged with sadness and melancholy. It was Mayakovsky's last unfinished poem. Vladimir Mayakovsky was a leader of a revolutionary socialist group of futurism in 1912. His works reflect a clash between the personal and the civic, between his utopianism and his awareness of the bourgeois culture of the period. The wave of futurism could be experienced in Britain when the exhibition of futurist painting was arranged at the Sackville Gallery in 1912. A number of English writers such as Wyndham Lewis, Ezra Pound, T. E. Hume, Ford Maddox Ford, C. W. R. Nevinson, and the Vorticists artists and writers were influenced by futurism. Guillaume Apollinaire, the French poet was greatly attracted to futurism. Broadly speaking, Vorticism was the British version of futurism. It is interesting to note that though it was allied to futurism, the Vorticist group made distinction between futurism and Vorticism in its mouthpiece blast. C. W. R. Nevinson was greatly influenced by Marinetti, he observed Marinetti's ideas at the Post-Impressionist and Futurist exhibition held in 1913. It is important to note that David Herbert Lawrence's famous novel Women in Love clearly reflects his adoration of futurism. He also planned to write an article on futurism but it could not be executed. In D. H. Lawrence's novel Women in Love, the character named Lorkey, a sculptor, is a spokesperson of futurism. The futurist movement dissolved in 1930s when Filippo Tommaso Marinetti embraced fascist academic culture. It laid a platform for many modernist artists and writers in 20th century. I think you liked the video. I have tried my level best to give you useful information through this video Cubism and Futurism. I have already produced a video on Dadaism and Surrealism. The next video will also be based on the same topic. I will meet you soon with a new and interesting video on English literature. Meet you. Please subscribe Literature Guide.